places, no fuckers there. Hi guys, it's Stay. Welcome to a brand new video. Today's video, guys, we're gonna be talking about the beautiful world of Russian car YouTubers. Now, guys, I don't know if you would expect this, but Russia has a very vibrant car culture. And you would really think of Russia as a country that has a really big car culture because, you know, in Russia we have Ladas, you know? But in all honesty, guys, I cannot hate because I myself am a Lada fan and I'm actually a car YouTuber myself. I have made Lada reviews on this channel a while ago. I don't know if you guys have missed them, but first of all, you got some sound effects going on. <laughs> But I am not the best Russian car YouTuber when it comes down to it. Now, you see, in the West, for example, you have a car community on YouTube. You have a bunch of great reviewers that I like to watch. Like, I know, like, Doug Demuro, regular car reviews, car throttle, stuff like that. They make car reviews, they can be serious, they can be funny, but none of them go absolutely insane. Yes, guys, today we're gonna take a look at Russian car culture in a particular channel called Academic. This guy is uh, one of the most famous Russian car YouTubers, and he's famous for not just doing car reviews, like the majority of uh, car YouTubers out there. There's a huge market for car reviews on YouTube, a lot of people are doing it. Most of them, though, are uh, like actual ex 90s gangsters. So, you know, watching them is a bit cringe, bro, you know, this is cringe, you're gonna lose subscriber. <laughs> this academic guy, however, he's a lot more fun to watch, he's a little bit more down to earth, and also, he makes absolutely insane videos. And again, just like most Russian YouTubers, this academic guy is actually not perfect, um, he has a lot of scandals uh, behind his belt as well. They had a huge drama back in the day where they faked a car crash in their video, uh, and it was basically all a ploy to promote a insurance company, in particular an insurance company that is owned by a very big oligarch in Russia that that YouTube hates and so that was a little bra moment on the spot but on the other hand though he creates content like no other on Russian YouTube basically what this guy does is that he creates projects he, he has a video where he took a Russian truck uh, Zeal and he uh, put like a 600 uh, horsepower engine in it which is absolutely insane He also took a Russian U.S. If you guys have ever played PUBG, you should probably be familiar with this truck in particular. And he actually put like a crazy engine, like 400 horsepower in that as well, which is absolutely crazy. They've also done this to a BMW X5. You know what this shit really reminds me of? It reminds me of the uh, Kanye West and Jay-Z Otis music video where they, uh, you know, destroyed a Maybach and just made a ridiculous cut of it. But I can't use the song because I'm gonna get copyright claimed because UMG is literally copyright claiming my entire channel now. Thank you. So, you know, this guy is epic. And uh, the way I look at this whole situation is that the thing is that this guy is hated by a lot of people in Russia because, you know, he was promoting this shady insurance company and what's or not. I agree, yes, to some extent, but at the other hand he maybe is faking something and he's doing whatever to make money but the thing is you can clearly see that the amount of money that he's earning is going into the content because I once again bought a fucking Bentley and made a tank out of it if he didn't make that advertisement maybe he wouldn't be able to buy the Bentley in the first place right it makes sense so yeah I think everybody's interested in how the fuck the Bentley tank came about as a thing like it's, it's ridiculous who who did this right basically academic always buys destroyed cars like he just buys the most busted ass cars that on the inside are just not working at this point and then they make them into something better the same here with this Bentley this Bentley actually cost him only 1.5 million rubles which is ridiculous which is like a price of a pretty normal car actually in Russia at least you know in Russia uh, car prices on the market are actually a lot higher than in the West and especially with Western cars the prices can get ridiculous and so he bought the car and it's an absolutely busted up Condition. like it does it just doesn't drive like it's not powerful at all like I don't know who drove that car but they completely destroyed it and busted it up like the Bentley that he bought had a Russian flag as a badge on the side who did this? Who the fuck did this? But you know, it's whatever, right? He bought it, and then they had an idea. How can we fix this car, right? So they had a sort of a running joke with this Bentley, is that, you know, this car was bought of some shady-ass people, and they put a Russian flag on the side of it, so this is now a Russian car. And what they did is that they turned this Bentley into a Volga. Volga is one of the famous car models that come from Russia, and so what they did is that they took badges from a Volga, 
for a, from a real Volga and they put them on a Bentley. Who comes up with this shit? It's like if you put fucking Lada badges on the Ferrari, like it's ridiculous. And so this has been a thing on this channel for a while now, them just taking the piss out of this Bentley at this point. For example, what they did next is that they put a Japanese engine in it. Which is absolutely ridiculous, the Japanese engine in the Bentley. And then I kind of stopped watching his channel regularly and uh, I decided to recently Google his channel again and I found this video that now the Bentley is actually a tank. And I don't know what happened. <laughs> but this is just the, this is just the way it is. Like I understand this guy is not a in particular a car mechanic or something like that, and of course he has a whole crew that does the shit for him. But like honestly, to have that sort of connections where you can't just go like, yeah, I have the money, let me do a Bentley tank for my YouTube channel. Like I cannot imagine that shit. Okay, like the thought of buying a microphone stand and setting it up is already scary for me. <laughs> but building a Bentley tank and like again, guys, this is just a great uh, just a great demonstration of of what the Russian, uh, what, what Russia has come to. <laughs> you know, in 1945, our tanks entered Berlin, okay? We had our army and that was it, but now we have Bentley tanks, okay? Because the Russian government is so corrupt that every single governmental official now has a Bentley of his own because it's stolen a lot of the money. So now what we have to do that is just uh, in case Putin's epic regime is threatened, every governmental official can just get his Bentley or their Rolls Royce or their Porsche Panamera. Because I mean guys, I don't know if you have ever been to Moscow, but it's fucking ridiculous. Like I live here in Chelyabinsk in Russia and when I go outside in the streets, the only things we have on the street are like shitty ass ladders and sometimes decent cars. And I think I've seen a Ferrari once and a Lamborghini once, which was insane. And when anybody sees a Lamborghini in my city, they're like, what the hell is this, right? But when it comes to like Moscow or St. Petersburg, especially Moscow, when you go outside, it's like everybody in this country is a goddamn billionaire. Like there are literally no cars in Moscow apart from Porsches, Lamborghinis and Ferraris and Rolls Royces and Bentleys. Like that's just the way it feels. Like I remember my very first memory when I came to Moscow in 2015, which was my first visit to Moscow, is that as soon as I walked out and I was walking in the street and I see just a fucking just just a I see just a huge gang like 15 Lamborghinis just going by just the most craziest like Huracan, Aventador, Diablo, Murcielago and I'm like yeah I'm in Moscow. <laughs> and once again, that's what we need to do. Uh, Russian officials just give out their Rolls Royces, give out their Bentleys, let's make tanks and let's go to Ber Berlin. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you guys know, I don't know if you follow me on Twitter, but I'm actually going to Berlin and Prague soon. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm about to pull up, bro. Like I'm dead ass about to pull up in a Bentley tank. I gotta hit this guy up and I'm pulling up. It's just fucking hilarious, like, they're filming this in some, like, uh, outskirts of town, near some village or something, it's just the village road. Some guy is literally walking sheep, okay? Some guy from, from the village, just walking with his sheep, you know, having a nice day, and you walk out and you see a bunch of dudes fixing up a Bentley tank and fixing up its wheels and shit, like, if I ever saw that, and I'm just a normal guy from a village, I'd question my sanity, like... <laughs> Like, you've just seen that happen. The off-road capabilities are absolutely insane. This is not just a Bentley Continental tank that's useless to show off, hey, I have a lot of money. You can use this for real off-road purposes. This is a real off-road vehicle. Look guys, I don't know about you, but when I look at this, I just see that no single Western car channel, no single Western customizing car, turning car channel can ever compare to this, okay? If you know anybody in the West or in Europe that are making tanks out of Bentleys, Put it down in the comments, but I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's happening So yeah, the thing is some of these videos are actually subtitled in English so you can watch them if you want to because uh, Most Russian youtubers never subtitle their videos. However, it's a very big video. It's a very popular video Now I actually see a lot of Russian channels are starting to actually subtitle and translate their videos in English Which is nice and uh, spares me the job to do it So if you want to check out more, I guess you could uh, check it out for yourself But uh, I'm hating out bro. I've had enough craziness for today 
today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please make sure to slap the motherfucking like button. Also, guys, if you want to support my YouTube channel, if you want to support me, my YouTube craft, this whole thing I'm doing, uh, down in the description, you can go, there's a link to my Patreon. And if you donate to it, I would gladly appreciate it. And also, you get access to my Discord server, where we have a pretty nice community, which is epic. And it would be great if you joined. So, patreon.com slash nofuckers. Let's go. Let's get this bread, gamers. <laughs> yeah, guys, that is going to be pretty much it for today's video. Now, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.